Now let's look at an equation that has a couple different transformations going on. So in fact, this one, uh, we're going to do two different transformations. We're still asking for the same information, domain, range, and horizontal asymptote. So first, we want to start with the base graph. Now the, the graph of 3 to the x is a little bit steeper than 2 to the x. So we're just talking about sketches here. Uh, so it's going to be something like this. So this we'll start with y equals 3 to the x. It does look similar to the y equals 2 to the x graph. It goes through our common point right here. And this one that we talked about before, it's going to go through 0, 1. So that's what we start. We always want to start with our base graph when we do transformations. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the exponent here. So with this, we're going to, because you have a plus inside the exponent position, what that does is it moves the graph two places over to the left. So when you do these, you're kind of doing these in order of order operations is how you do the ordering with the transformations. So for instance, if I had like, let's say I had 3 to the 2, minus 2, something like that, I would first work this part out because exponents come before subtraction with order of operations. So that's why I'm choosing to work with the exponent. So as long as you follow that, uh, then you should be fine. So, that's, so if you're wondering what kind of order to follow, that's what you do, order of operations. Okay, so we'll start with the exponent. Again, the plus 2 means we move the graph two places opposite direction. So instead of going uh, to the right, we're going to go to the left. So we're going to take this point at 0, 1. And what that does is that's now going to move it two places over to here. So the whole graph actually shifts two places over to the left. So now the graph is going to still have the same shape, but it's now going to... Uh, looks something like this. If I label this one, this would be y equals 3 to the x plus 2, and that would be this one. Okay. So it moves two places over to the left. Okay, but now I got a minus 2 that's there. What that'll do is it'll take this graph that's drawn in this position and it's going to shift the whole graph down two places. So this point that we have here, that's also going to shift uh, down two units. So if it goes down one and down two, to here. Okay, so then what we have is a graph will be drawn down there. Now part of this question asks us for horizontal asymptote. Let's actually do that because that's going to help us to decide where our final graph is going to end up. So we're going to do y equals 3 to the x plus 2 minus 2. Your horizontal asymptote, you always start out with y equals, and then you're just going to include the number on the end here. So your horizontal asymptote was y equals negative 2. Now the reason why we want to do that part now is because in our final answer we need to know where that is along there. So here's the point that was originally here and got shifted down to that point. Our horizontal asymptote is negative 2, so that's going to help us draw that. If we didn't have that dotted line down there, then we might have, we might have a wrong shape, have it go down like that. We have to have it follow the horizontal asymptote. So the graph is going to go like follow this, it's going to hit this point, and then it's going to go up uh, something like that, and that would be what the sketch would look like, and this would be what your uh, final answer would be for this equation. Now your domain, it's still going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. In fact, all of them, all the problems you're going to do in this section, if they have an exponent like that, they're all going to be negative infinity to positive infinity because there's no restrictions on what x value you can put in there. Now your range has to do with where your horizontal asymptote is. There's no graph that appears below the horizontal asymptote. So it's all going to be above that y value negative 2. So we're going to put negative 2. Now remember, that, as I mentioned before, the graph is never actually going to reach the value of the horizontal asymptote. So we got to put a parenthesis on that and it's going to go up. It's going to go up to positive infinity. So that would be now your range.